Uh, anyway, that are increased Unilag school fee. Uh, they just come out a um, few days ago. They have increased Unilag school fee. From, now they say they increased that from 50,000 to 20,000. They increased that from around 16 to 25. Some people, they pay, they, students pay around 16,000 to 25,000. Depend on your department. They increased that from there to over 100,000. Over 500 to 600 percent increase. And they are saying in some next session, some people for them go pay as high as 190. Especially medical students. If you are studying medicine, your own is finished in uni life. If your partner get 190, not come school. Let me read the news for you. The Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, University of Lagos Branch, Akoka, and the students of the university have kicked against the increments in school fees now being charged by the institution. The management of the school has announced the fees increment for all categories of students as a meeting is held on Thursday with the leadership of some staff unions, including the Senior Staff Association, Non-Academic Staff Union, NASU, and the National Association of Technology, SNAT. The new fees regime with details is contained in the minutes of the meeting issued and signed by Mr. Akpan Obono Otsu, who acted as the secretary of the meeting. The minutes is obtained by Nigerian Tribune on Friday. According to the management from next academic section on October 3rd, returning students will now be paying between 100 and 100,750 and 190,250 depending on the course of study per session with the medical and dentistry student paying the highest. On the other hand, those who are coming in newly as undergraduates will be paying between 126,325 and 190,250 and this also depends on their courses of study the charges on hostel accommodations and various departmental levies are not captured in the above figures the university vice chancellor professor Fola Shadi Ogunsola who shared a meeting offered some explanations why the fee increment for students is inevitable if you like wants to continue to perform the mandates as an institution, she cited among others the high cost of operation due to galloping inflation currently experiencing in the country, particularly since the recent removal of subsidy on fuel by federal government as reasons. According to her, Unilag has been running repeatedly a deficit budget to the tune of $1.2 in the last three years and can no longer cope particularly with the economic reality in the country. She revealed that the normal annual income accurable to the university from its auxiliary funds stood at 5.6 billion naira, while its expenditure amounted to 6.8 billion naira, leaving a deficit of 1.2 billion annually. She maintained that the university can no longer cope with the students paying the same fees they have been paying since 20 years ago, which is about 25,000 naira per session, hence the decision to jack up the fees. She noted that all stakeholders, including students and staff unions, were being carried along to arrive at the new fee regime. However, the chairman of the parent forum of the university, Mr. Babatunde Majakodumi, confirmed to Saturday Tribune on Friday the claim by the VC that parents were actually carried along and agreed to the new fee. He explained that the money would have been higher and up to 400000 per session, but for the appeals made by the forum to the management. But cross-section of parents of students of the universities and students themselves mm -hmm. despair the claim of the parent forum chairman, saying they were not aware of any meeting. Where such important matter was tabled, let alone party to the decision. The chairman of ASU of the branch, Professor Kayo De Adebayo, also on the spot, told Saturday Tribune that as far as ASU is concerned, the union has no mandate to discuss the issue concerning review of school fees in any university with any management. He explained that ASU's position of no to school fees increment in any federal university in the country has not changed even till now. He insisted that the federal government has made to fund university education very well, but for lack of insincerity and political will of the successive leaders to do so. Now, let's run the maths. When we did secondary school, those of us when our papa not to get money, we knew that we don't have a choice. We know we go to private school. So we had to read extra hard so that we'll gain admission into a federal university. People that pick federal university, Picked it because it is cheap. It is being funded by the government. 
we know some of our school fee they fund up. But because of the employment rates in the country, minimum wage, how people suffer, and poor man beginning to go to school. That became the priority of the federal government to fund the federal universities. So people picked federal universities because their papa don't get money. They don't get choice. They have to read because the competition to enter there is serious. Small, small. Big men, children start to find their way. They pass corner, they gain admission. Now that one, that pass. We still a complain for that one. You are increasing school fee by over five hundred percent. Who does that? Who does that? Fuel increased by over five hundred percent. School fee now don't increase by five hundred percent. People where they go to school, they are providing around 100,000, 50,000, 150, 200. Some students of that school, now then they fund themselves. Some of them are selling clothes here, yeah, selling uh, t shirts here, yeah, selling fabrics here, yeah, just to go to school. Those ones, one of these said, I will start hook up. Now you move school fee from 16,000. I know somebody in Unilag that pays about 16,000. Now school fee had moved to over 100,000. They even telling us that normally they are supposed to take to four hundred thousand. Are you normal? Do you know what is hundred thousand? Even if you are being paid two hundred thousand per month, you cannot fund the hundred thousand school fee. Is this fair? Not as if there's an alternative where the poor man picking fee goes school. So one of the pay hundred thousand school fee now, make his stay house. We are creating more illiterate. Tomorrow we will complain that the country is not safe. These people you are not sending to school now. We are begging for government to come and do better. Let people go to school better. They are coming to chase people out of school. What type of government is this? These decisions are they timely? Somebody will tell me, say, nowhere in the world, in the UK education is not cheap. In the UK I can go to school and the banks will fund it. It's called education loan. Now when I come out I'll be working. A cleaner in the UK earns more than a banker in Nigeria. He can live in a house, he can pay his bills. Some people will say, after I pay the bill finish, how much call remain? At least when he work, you see the way he pay bill. In Nigeria, people salary not if he pay bill. But the ones they work for federal government and state government, how much is a policeman's salary? You give a policeman 200,000, he has three children, he has a wife, he has a house. Remove our strength now. Not be somebody who went as for now, so when we the fire house, the only place we will see us way less past 500,000. Now, for Egg Beda and Limo Shaw, every normal place is in Lagos. Self container, you will pay more than 500 to 800,000 for self contained If you mistakenly go to the room, now over a million. And instead of you to look at how life is going to be easier, you came now, you they make her hard, and some people go clap for now. Mona, they watch.